Shooting at long ranges is never easy. It takes dedicated practice and a basic understanding of the forces that affect the flight of a bullet. This short video will show you why the Leica Geovid HDB makes long range shooting a lot easier. The key success factors for long range shooting are practice and a strong knowledge of your equipment and surroundings. When it comes to equipment, every combination of caliber, bullet, and rifle will have different ballistic behaviors. A ballistic curve is always the result of the muzzle velocity of the projectile, the force of gravity pulling the projectile down, and the drag the projectile encounters while in flight. The first parameter is probably the simplest, muzzle velocity. Muzzle velocity is simply the speed the bullet has the moment it leaves the barrel. A faster velocity equates to a flatter curve. The second force that affects your ballistic curve is gravity. In space, where there is almost no gravity, a bullet would fly perfectly flat forever. Being on Earth, however, we face the strong effect of gravity, which pulls our bullet towards the center of the Earth at 9.81 meters per second squared. This means that a projectile's falling velocity changes with time. The longer it's in the air, the faster it falls. The third force that affects ballistics is drag. Drag is simply the air resistance the projectile encounters while in flight. There are a couple of components, the first being the shape of the projectile. A measure of each projectile's ability to overcome air resistance is called its ballistic coefficient. The higher the BC value, the flatter the trajectory. This figure has a dramatic impact on where your bullet hits. The second part of drag is air density. Air density refers to the mass of the air and is typically quantified in kilograms per cubic meter. As the density of air goes up, you'll encounter more drag on your bullet and effectively encounter more bullet drop. Air density fluctuates based on air temperature, elevation, air pressure, and humidity, all variables you are likely to encounter when hunting in the mountains. Another variable hunters typically encounter in the mountains is the strong possibility of shooting at steep angles. When shooting on flat ground, gravity drags the projectile perpendicular to its flight direction. However, when shooting at inclines or declines, this is no longer the case. Ranging for line of sight distance instead of horizontal distance results in a point of impact that hits high. When you start to think about all of the parameters that affect ballistics and all the possible combinations of those parameters and variables, it's easy to get overwhelmed. It's for precisely this reason why Leica developed the Geovid HDB, to keep you focused on making a good shot and not having to make calculations in the field. The Leica Geovid HDB brings about a revolution in rangefinding. Equipped with a 2,000 yard rangefinder, outstanding optical quality, and a brand new ergonomic design, the HDB stands alone in the rangefinding binocular category. The most revolutionary feature is its built-in ballistic computer. This function takes your specific ballistic curve, uses real-time data from the onboard thermometer, inclinometer, and station pressure gauge, and delivers a precise ballistic compensation in one of three outputs, equivalent horizontal range, holdover, or ballistic turret. The first option is equivalent horizontal range. This output first displays the line of sight distance and then the equivalent horizontal range. This reading is especially accurate if you have a scope with a ballistic drop compensation reticle. The second output is holdover. This setting first displays the line of sight distance and then provides a measurement of how high you should hold over. Depending on whether you select EU or US in the menu, this will either be in centimeters or inches. The last and most accurate output is the ballistic turret option. This provides a distance and then a click value. The shooter takes this click value and then adjusts his or her ballistic turret accordingly so they can hold directly on their target. Setting up the Geovid HDB is really simple. There are two buttons, the measurement button on the left and the secondary button on the right. To access the main menu, hold down the secondary button for three seconds. Press the secondary button to cycle through the four menu options. There's EU US, the ballistics menu, the sight and distance menu, and the advanced ballistics compensation menu. To access any of these menus, press the measurement button and then the secondary button to make your selection. The EU US menu allows you to pick your unit of measure. With a US selection, your distance measurements will be measured in inches and yards and degrees in Fahrenheit, whereas the EU will deliver distance in centimeters and meters and degrees in Celsius. The second menu is the ballistics menu. 
This is where you input your specific ballistic curve either through one of the 12 preloaded ballistic curves already built into the GeoVid or via the micro SD card with your custom ballistics info. The sight in distance menu is where you specify at what distance you're zeroed. The last menu option is ABC, which stands for our Advanced Ballistic Compensation. This is where you select your output of either EHR, Holdover, or Ballistics Turret. There are five different options for Ballistics Turret to fit the wide range of turrets on the market today. The first step in setting up the GeoVid HTB is to determine how you'll input your specific ballistic information. The first way is to reference the tables on the back of your box of ammunition. Find the amount of bullet drop at the furthest distance available. In this case, 10 inches at 300 yards. Find the value that matches closest in the GeoVid manual. In this case, 9.6 inches. This corresponds with the US-3 ballistic curve and is what you would select in the ballistics menu in the GeoVid. The second and more precise way to enter your curve is to use the ballistics calculator found on the Leica GeoVid website. First, select your ammunition from the three drop-down menus. If you load your own ammunition, you can enter that information in the custom load section. Select your sight in distance and click the calculate button. Then review the information on the left and if it looks good, save it to your micro SD card. Eject the micro SD card and insert it into the GeoVids through the battery housing. Let's walk through a full setup using holdover, a sighting distance of 100 yards, selecting card for our ballistic curve, and US as our unit of measure. First, hold down the secondary button for three seconds. Then press the measurement button to access the EU US menu. Then press the secondary button to select US. After you make your selection, the menu forwards you to the next menu option, which in this case is the ballistics menu. Press the measurement button to access the ballistics menu and select card from the options by pressing the secondary button. Again, the SID menu appears. Press the measurement button to access this menu and set your range at 100 yards by pressing the secondary button. Lastly, the ABC menu will appear. Press the measurement button to access this menu. Press the measurement button again to toggle to the holdover option and press the secondary button to select it as your ABC output. Your GeoVid is now set up. To illustrate exactly how each output works, let's head into the mountains. To range your target, all you need to do is press the measurement button once. The GeoVid will always give you your linear distance first followed by whichever output value you've selected in the menu. All of these outputs take into consideration the angle at which you're shooting, barometric pressure, temperature, and your specific ballistic drop curve. Leica has always been a pioneer in the world of rangefinding. The GeoVid HDB continues that long tradition. Its ability to calculate the most relevant ballistic information and distill it all down into a simple output helps hunters make fast, safe, and accurate shots.